Hi everyone, my name is Jess and about 90 days I started a new job and so I wanted to do more of a summary of how that's going and what you should do for your 90 day plan to make sure that you are also successful in your new job. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. It would help me out a lot to achieve my goals for the following year and help me create content like this. Let's just dive in, right into it. You wanna know, am I successful in my current job? Or you are also starting a new job and you wanna make sure that you are set up for success, especially at that 90 day mark. You wanna feel good, you wanna feel like you're on the way to success in your role. And I'm gonna talk about some of my pitfalls, some of the industry's pitfalls when starting a new job. I have onboarded a lot of different people and I always see the same things of when people start to struggle around the three month to six month mark because they have not done uh, you know, some of these things that I'm gonna share with you. So just quickly, I'm also going to refer a book and no, I don't know the author, He's probably never gonna see this video, but he has created the 90 day plan book. I forget what the author's name is, so I'll link it down below. And this 90 day plan is great for whether you're a hiring manager, whether you're an employee and wanna be super successful in those 90 days. It really focuses on what is called that break even point, the break even point. And what that means is now at 90 days, is the employee now giving back the same value that it's receiving from the organization. So that same value could be the learnings, that could be the salary. You really want as a hiring manager and even as an employee to be successful and to continue to climb up is that break even point. Make sure that you're giving at least the minimum amount back to the organization that they are giving you. Of course, they always want more, I digress. All right, so the pitfalls that you wanna make sure before you start your 90 day plan, or if you are in that 90 day phase that you don't want to be in is setting unrealistic expectations. There is nothing worse than having a leader that is telling you, you need to do certain things by 90 days or you will not be successful. What I would suggest, especially if you're starting out and you haven't reached that 90 day, or even have this conversation now at 90 days with your leader is, hey, here's the goals that we wanna agree on that I will be sufficient at in 90 days. Is it realistic? You won't know that unless you have a mentor or someone in the organization that's gonna tell you, yes, that is realistic, or it might be a hard goal to achieve. But once you get those goals, discuss it with your leader, talk about it, ask, hey, what needs to be done first and, and to make sure that he sees success in you. And that really is trying to do too much all at once. I remember when I was 21 in sales, I was so eager to be the best of the best. I wanted to get everything good. I wanted my technical knowledge to be great, my listening skills to be great, my presentation skills in front of customers to be great. And what ends up happening, and this is the pitfall, is nothing is great because you're focused on so many different things that everything ends up being mediocre or really, really bad. So I would pick max three things, get really good at that are crucial to your role and then start building off of that in 90 days. Really how I look at my career is every 90 days. Every quarter, I'll take a look, I'll reset what's working, what is not. There are not a lot of leaders out there because people just don't have time or they're not trained where they're gonna be able to coach you on the 90 day plan, right? What is your quarterly plan? It is really up to you to keep yourself accountable in this scenario. It's your career, it's your life. So what do you wanna accomplish every single quarter and what do you wanna stop doing? That is a really good way to set realistic expectations for yourself and set it with your leader as well. And um, one other pitfall that I see a lot that happens, especially with some of the tenure folks, is they come into a new role, they wanted to change, but then they stay with, with, with what they know. So they're maybe 30 years into the industry or 40 years and they don't bring anything new or they don't want to learn anything new or they don't put themselves out there in the situation to 
learn something new. So I think it's really important to get out of your comfort zone, especially if you're 10 year into the working world of business or sales. It's really good to drop some old habits and learn something new. So again, those would be my three pitfalls that you want to avoid while working in sales, especially in a new industry or a new role, what have you. All right, now the three things that I focused on in my 90 days was setting priorities. So I was walking into a new business. I do come from software, but it was a brand new software. And really my 30, 60, 90 day plan was to have priorities around what is the most important thing for the business. So how did I find that out? I asked a lot of questions. What does the organization need to see to deem me successful in this role? Is it revenue? Da -da -dum. Of course, it's revenue. So revenue is most important to show what do I need to do to generate revenue? Well, I can then select three different things to stick with and get in this rhythm. I did this with my first job as well is pick three things to get really, really good at, whether this is opening up customer conversations, whether it is finding new leads, and it could also be presenting into the internal business customers as well. So again, pick three things that you're gonna get really good at with the prioritization of, I need to generate revenue in those first 90 days, or it's, you know I'm not going to be deemed successful as a salesperson, and then stick to it. And then again, as I discussed about the pitfalls, make sure that you're checking in with your leader to ask, is this what success looks like? Am I on the right track? What else do you need to see from me? What else is a priority? Anytime you get a new project, maybe you're not in sales, every time you get a new project that's piled on you in those first 90 days, always ask your leader, does this take priority over the last project you gave me? Because I'm not sure I can do both. I think it's super important to set expectations with your leader in those first 90 days because this is really the start of a brand new relationship. And if you don't set those expectations early, I can, I can just tell you, it's gonna lead to really bad, uh, just a bad relationship in general. And I've, I've been there, especially in my 20s where you're just learning and you're trying to get different mentors and things like that. You're very impressionable when you're younger in sales. So one advice, if you remember anything from this video, is just remember that. Take on uh, strict boundaries and prioritize. Now number two would be make sure in those first 90 days you're checking in with a mentor almost daily. Pick up the phone, call them, ask a quick question. It feels a little silly to ask so many questions. I think I asked almost 10 a day. Yes, I'm that type of person. 10 questions a day to various different mentors to understand and learn. If you have the privilege of joining a team that has already been established and has been in that business for a few years, those mentors are the sweet spot. They are great. They're gonna offer different insights that they have seen prior to you joining. And I would say most people that I've interacted with are more than willing to help and give mentorship. So that would be number two. And lastly, believe it or not, it's the first time I mentioned it in this video, AI. So use some sort of chat bot, whether you have Copilot because you're a Microsoft user, or even just using ChatGPT without sharing any specific company information. My suggestion is use ChatGPT. If you are stuck and you don't have a good 30, 60, 90 day plan, you can write specific prompts to say, hey, ChatGPT, can you please write a 30, 60, 90 day plan for me? I'm a salesperson within Canada selling X, Y, Z, and the most important goal or target for me in the 90 days is to generate revenue. Please go ahead and build that up enter. They will come up with a fantastic plan better than I could do. Better than I could do because they, they have the resources. So again, any type of industry, if you're in marketing, if you're in finance, whatever you are, ask AI to do the heavy lifting for you and take that framework, copy and paste it, put it in a document for yourself and go ahead and edit it. And then when you have that final plan, 
talk to your leader about it, making sure that they agree on your plan and they may have better points to add in there or they might say, great work, I agree, go ahead and go do that and they will applaud your organization and your tenacity to generate revenue for them in the first 90 days. Again, if you like this type of video, if you like the sales content as well as the tech reviews and things like that, or you wanna see more of a personal view into my working life, go over to Instagram. I also have Instagram, Jess underscore Pettigrew, Jess underscore Pettigrew, and uh, go check me out there. I'm happy to engage with you there as well. And thank you so much for watching. Feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.